What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. Just wanted to talk to you guys about crimping dangerous game loads. Should you crimp dangerous game loads? Now most people are aware that you have to crimp revolver cartridges, especially big bore revolver cartridges like this 44 Magnum. This is a 300 grain hard cast. You can see the crimp on this cartridge here and it's a heavy roll crimp right into a crimp groove that's built into the bullet also known as a cantalure. And here we have a 240 grain XTP which is also crimped into a cantalure. You can see the crimp right there. But should you crimp dangerous game ammo? So here I have some 416 Ruger. So I'm developing some loads for my 416 Ruger and here I have some brass solids and some steel jacketed solids and I'm going to use these one day when I go to Africa and you'll notice that these are crimped okay you can see I rolled the case mouth into the cantalore on this dangerous game solid this is a 400 grain bullet and then I also roll crimped the case mouth into these brass solids now, I normally don't roll crimp dangerous game ammo if I'm just having fun at the range, zeroing my scope, whatever I'm doing, practicing. I usually don't roll crimp, and I've never had any issues with dangerous game ammo that hasn't been crimped. And I've been shooting my 416 Ruger for a few years now. I've put a couple hundred rounds through it, and I've never had any issues with bullets moving from recoil that being said it is possible it could happen so if you're going on a once in a lifetime hunt to africa it couldn't hurt to crimp your loads even if you get factory ammo and you notice that it's not crimped like for example the factory hornady 400 grain dangerous game solids are not crimped but they are seated into the cantalore so they're ready to crimp so in that situation you can crimp it yourself you just need a seating die or a crimping die but Hornady does seat their bullets into the cantalore so they're ready to crimp but they don't come crimped from the factory okay so in my opinion if you're just having fun at the range if you're just practicing with your dangerous game rifle you don't need to crimp, you don't have to worry about it, but if you're going on a once in a lifetime hunt to Africa or to Alaska and you really want to have that extra insurance, go ahead and crimp your factory ammo or your hand loads. And obviously if you're hand loading for dangerous game, you want to make sure that you really test your loads out and you want to make sure that you test them in all conditions. To make sure that they're a hundred percent reliable but I've never had any issues with bullets moving from recoil in a dangerous game rifle and just so you guys know the 416 Ruger has tremendous recoil and it can generate 5,500 foot-pounds of muzzle energy so that's a lot of recoil guys okay for such a light rifle a lot of recoil and I actually damaged a scope already I broke one of my scopes on that rifle and I had to send it back for warranty and I'll leave a link to the video I did about that in the top right corner but in my opinion you don't need to have crimped ammo for dangerous game rifles even though they generate a tremendous amount of recoil because they are contained in a magazine box and rifle recoil is nowhere near the same as revolver recoil. So like even this 44 Magnum, which will generate only 1,000 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, is still going to have 
more of a recoil impulse on the cartridge than these 416 Ruger rounds which generate over 5,000 foot-pounds but because a rifle can absorb recoil better than a pistol can because rifles are much much heavier okay you have an eight pound rifle versus a two pound pistol or two pound revolver so it's a huge difference so that's why crimping is more essential for revolvers especially big bore revolvers than it is for dangerous game cartridges and if you're sizing your cases properly you should have enough neck tension that you don't need to crimp okay like I said I've been shooting dangerous game rifles for a long time I've never had any issues with bullets moving from recoil but I plan to crimp my loads when I do go to Africa someday hopefully soon to hunt buffalo I will be crimping my ammo just for extra insurance now a lot of people will say you can create dangerous pressures by crimping and that's just not true it may seem like it because if you're putting a roll crimp you you would think that you know you're holding that bullet tighter you're increasing the neck tension but the pressure is so massive that even that heavy roll crimp it's not going to really do anything to raise pressures dramatically unless you really crimp it like to the point where you deform the bullet then yeah then you may have pressure problems but I've never had any overpressure problems and I've crimped hundreds of rounds rifle and revolver and I've never had any pressure issues so don't let that scare you you obviously don't want to over crimp okay you just want to roll that case mouth into the cantalore so it holds that bullet Okay, this is really all you need okay if you crimp any more than this you run the risk of deforming your bullet and that could be a problem that can actually cause you to lose neck tension because what will happen is your crimp is going to actually squeeze the bullet too much and the brass is going to bounce out of that little groove that you make by squeezing the bullet too much and then you're gonna lose tension and the bullet is not gonna be tight anymore and you're gonna have to pull the bullet and resize your neck and uh, you definitely don't want to have to do that so that's pretty much it guys just wanted to share my opinions on that so you don't need to crimp dangerous game rifle ammo Okay, dangerous game revolver cartridges, you have to crimp, yes. But dangerous game rifle ammo, you do not need to crimp. And I'm speaking to you from experience, okay? I'm not just regurgitating information that I read somewhere else like a lot of people do. I actually have real-world experience shooting dangerous game cartridges like the 416 Ruger, of which I've shot hundreds of rounds and I never had a problem but if you are going on a once in a lifetime hunt, go ahead and put a little roll crimp on your ammo just to make sure that it's nice and tight. So that's pretty much it guys. If you want to see more of my reloading content, I'll leave a link in the top right corner to my reloading playlist. Take care, God bless, and don't forget the three P's. Prepare, practice, and persevere.